Adam Reed, you know, he's written almost every episode of this show. Yeah. And he, the sense of, of humor is so specifically his. This is the first year where it's venturing kind of outside of his imagination. But I guess I just want to hear a little bit about what you think about Adam, Adam's writing, because it is, it, it, it's, it's rare that a show has one singular creative voice for so long. Well, he's he obviously have had such a hard time finding people to write in that voice, mm -hmm. you know. But he has such an amazing, he's such a renaissance man. I mean, he just knows about so many things. So he's able to put these references in there that are historical and cultural. And, you know, I, I don't know if you do, but I think most of us castmates have to look up things. Oh, in a, I, in a new I know everything. I, I know you do. I know you do. And that's why I, I left you out of that. But most of us have to look up a lot of those references, you know. I just remember, uh, like, an episode, I think it was, I couldn't tell you what season it is either, but the one where um, we've got to see Pam's, Pam Poofy's back tattoo. <laughs> right. Right, yes, and it yes. was like, it, it was like three stanzas from like Chaucer or something like that. Like we all had to go and Google it. Right, yeah. Um, and then right after that is a sensational dick joke, which I think, <laughs> you know, it's like, it's a nice palate cleanser. Yeah, yeah, I can't cool. decide which one of those is the palate cleanser <laughs> and which one's the meal. Never miss a beat. Subscribe to Larry King now and watch new episodes every day.